All right, welcome to Tiny Cabin Adventures. Man, we were able to finally get out uh, to the land. I brought one of my boys and I was able to get a project done. I got the countertop done. Man, that was a little scary because I stuff is really easy to break. I had the guy, the local guy, try to cut it for me, pre-cut it. He messed it up and so they had to reorder another one, which is easy to do. And um, then I have a construction guy. I said, hey, will you cut this? Because I know I'll mess it up. And he said, no, I don't think I can because I think I'll mess it up. I was like, great. But it gave me the tools to do it on my, you know, to do it myself there at the cabin. It worked. It is brittle, but I was able to cut it. Looks good. All I got to do is finish it up with some um, black filler and we're good to go. So, hey, thanks for all the subscribes and the likes and all the comments. I uh, love having them and, and the advice. Fun doing these projects along with you. I hope to do the door next. And that's one that really is scaring me. But hey, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Hopefully you guys can get out there too soon. And uh, see you till the next video. Well, it's snowing. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if you can see it. Mostly blue skies. Well, it's about 20 degrees. The sun's coming up. Having some sausage and eggs for this morning. All right. Cleaning off the countertop. guy didn't want to cut it so he gave me these you can see those and you just kind of go down on it and clamp clamp you go in and you cut like that so I think I cut the excess and then I go in to make a nice clean cut with this and then I file it file this roll down so I'm tempted to cut it pre-hand and I'm tempted not to because this whole piece I want to keep and it's going to go in front. We're going to put the epoxy or the cement, contact cement on the back side of the countertop. Then we're going to take the countertop and we're going to lay it this side up on the bed and then we'll take the contact and put it on the uh, actual countertop. Then we'll put dowels down and then take this and go on top. I think I'm just going to cut it after it's on. So, wish me luck.
nails down, got sticky on both sides. Now is the moment of truth that we can get it in there. This is the part I'm scared about. All right, that's sticky, that's sticky. All right, next we'll try to give it the cut. The other hard part. So we'll let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes. Okay. I put a marker on there. That can come. It takes out about a. See how it does that? It just ripped it. This way? I don't think it matters really, but I think that needs to line up right in the suit. Oh, no, it's not lined up. Yeah, it is. Kind of. So that's close, it's got a lip to it, nice and straight, but now I come in with the chompers. I've got. right here but that is it it's not too bad looks like it's covered it perfect ah. Woo! Yeah. all right we're about to put the side on got the contact on contact on and ready to roll right. go don't go up against it until I got the end here just like the other side I push it up that way Okay, good. Alright, so this was all kind of pieced together and I, I end up having two big pieces. So while this is drying, let's uh, cut two nice clean pieces all the way across kind of for the backsplash.
All right, so we got her all done. We're gonna do lunch today. We got some sausage, turkey sausage, and some veggies and squash, and some sweet potatoes. We're gonna throw all in the skillet, and probably head home. Eli's taking off the sheets, the wash. Way to go, Eli. Beautiful day. Sorry to pick up wind again, but um, very lovely day. We need to stain our steps, and I'll bring some stain back next time we're here. Get the <laughs>